Okay, hey guys, back with another pickups video. <laughs> I really want to laugh out loud for about 20 minutes right now. But yeah, awesome weekend. Um, I have there's one one massive find which I've been waiting for years and years, and you know, so happy. So first of all, thanks for everyone liking and sharing, um, liking my videos. Um, I do my I'm doing my best to comment in, but at the moment my iPad's destroyed, my iPhone's dead. Uh, my PC can barely move because it's so old. <laughs> Rendering takes forever. So, yeah. So I'll try and get back, try and reply as um, soon as possible. Um, in other news, um, my car is like failed its MOT. I need a new catalytic converter. Um, I remember in the advisory last year they said something about it, um, but I haven't done anything about it. But yeah, so I'm a bit short of money this month because um, I, really, I really didn't plan for it, to be honest. Um, so I might be needing a new car, so the next few weeks, probably a month or two, I might not be doing any more um, car boot out and abouts because I've literally got no money, so I need to buy a car. Because um, my yeah, because it just costs too much just to get the other one on the go. Normally every time I get a car that's 110,000 miles, I normally change it, like every time. But this was 105,000 miles, I was hoping this was going to get me to the end of the summer. And then I was obviously going to get a new car, but I was hoping it was going to get for the MOT, but it didn't. So a new cat's worth, because mine's like a 1.8, um, there's only one model they do, so it seems to be really expensive, and it's like 400 quid. But if I'm paying 400 quid just to get it on the road again, um, the car's not worth that much. Um, the engine's a bit destroyed as well. <laughs> so it's literally just not worth me even fixing the car. Um, I'm gonna go see basically the same car, the same the same make, the same model, but it's like three or four years newer. So I'm keeping with the same make. So yeah, so I'm happy. So after this bundle of pickups, I was like, oh, well happy, well happy. Um, so yeah, so looking forward, looking forward to showing you my pickups. So there's I think there was one charity find, um, and the rest was just car boot finds. So. Yeah, it was probably the sunniest weekend for a while, actually, like like in the air anyway. So I got up at half five, as I normally do, um, drove to Plymouth. So Plymouth was my first stop. Um, looked around, and I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to see if this is all in bloody order. It might not be in order, so I'm just trying to figure out where did I get what, where did I get what. So yeah, so I was walking around for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, I did actually film, like, oh, it must have been two or three hours. There was nothing around, nothing. It was I was literally moaning like, oh, this is just rubbish. What's the point in coming here? Talking to the rest of the guys. And yeah, there was this box in the back of a car which um, I saw had a steering wheel. Um, I, I just walked past it, um, carrying on going down. Yeah, looking at the other cars. Um, noticed that an old lady was asking for video games as well. She was like, "Got any old video games?" I'm like, "Who's this random old lady?" But anyway, yeah, so that was a bit weird because I was asking and then she was asking right after me. I'm like looking at her thinking, I literally just said that. <laughs> but yeah, I went back to this car. Um, this woman was slowly like setting up. We saw the steering wheel again. Every time I see a steering wheel, I always just ask, have you got any video games to go with the steering wheel? So I thought, oh, you got any video games to go with the steering wheel? And she was like, um, oh, I've got some games, but maybe not for the steering wheel. Um, it's f to go with the Super Nintendo. And I literally saw the side of the Super Nintendo and one Super Nintendo game sort of facing away. I was like, yeah, I'm interested in that. Uh, picked up the box, um, looked at it. I just moved like the steering wheel, saw a couple of games. She goes, how much do you want for it? She said, make me an offer. I just said £10. And there's a couple of guys who I don't really know. I think they were like standing right behind me. Yeah, so I'm £10. She goes, £10. I was like, boom, gave her the £10. I was like oh, buzzing, my heart was absolutely buzzing, like yes, I found a Super Nintendo in the wild, they do exist, they, they are alive. <laughs> so I kind of just walked like, I don't know, five feet away, put the box down and just went through the games. And I needed half of them, I couldn't believe I first of all, I always said it was the side of the Super Nintendo and the cart. So I thought, oh, and then it must have been a couple of carts just like looking at the box. I didn't really look because there was some other CDs and like, I think there was a dance mat on top of it as well. But I knew there was like people right behind me, so I thought I need to get this done. Yeah, so for ten pound, um, I got this. Uh, with Super Nintendo, the ejection button is destroyed, but it's still working. So I could probably I need to open up and actually fix it. So yeah, 
So I definitely need to do some repair work. A little bit thin at the back there. Yeah, so it actually works all fine, I think. So it didn't actually light up, but I didn't, I didn't test it properly. So I don't know, I think I just put it in and went to work and thought I'd test it. So, <laughs> so I don't know why I didn't test it properly. It also came with an arcade stick, which was awesome. Um, and it's a score master. So this is actually a spare one, I think. Um, I actually got one the other day for like a tenner. So I was happy to get score master. Couple of books. And there's to show you the games. Okay, this first pile of games that I do have. And it came with Street Fighter 2. Mr. Nuts. Um, I think I swapped this out in my collection. So I had a Mr. Nuts. It had a better label. So I swapped it out with this one in my collection. So this is a bit faded. Star Wing. Super Mario All-Stars. Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 1, and Super Mario World as well. So they're the ones that I've got. Um, it also came with like a few booklets as well, like Mr. Nuts booklets, which obviously I'll keep. A um, couple of other stuff here as well. Mario All Stars book. I think I'd keep that one probably. Yeah, I'll probably just keep that one. Donkey Kong Country little book. Looks like a snares little. Um, Guide, the complete guide to Donkey Kong. And these are the games I surprisingly needed. <laughs> I was like thinking, I couldn't believe how many of these games I actually needed in my collection. Uh, PGA Golf Tour 96, it's just a shit golf game, but that has got the manual um, and it has got a massive poster as well. So I was happy to get that in the collection. You can see. Actually, fold it up properly. Um, striker. FIFA International Soccer. Aladdin. I actually think I got bo an Aladdin box, actually. So I think I just looked for my cartridges. Yeah, I think I got Aladdin box. So that might be one that I've already got, actually. Alien Free. So hard, that game is so hard. Oh yeah, Striker's got a manual. Um, what book's this one? Oh, that must be a Street Fighter 2 book, but it hasn't been missing the cover. Um, Super Swerve, I think it's called. <laughs> I got that on the, was it the Mega Drive last week and got the Super Nintendo um, this week. And three games which I'm obviously buzzing about. So, another world on the Super Nintendo. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Well happy to get that for the Super Nintendo. Um, Wolfenstein 3D. I never knew they did this for the Super Nintendo. So, yeah, I always thought it was just um, a PC game. But, the cover looks cool. Yeah. And there's some Wolfenstein 3D passwords, so I love it when people leave passwords and stuff. So one of the first things I do when I turn them on is like just whack in the password and see how far they got, or or, or if they're cheats and that. So yeah, so well happy to get this one. Um, I can't wait to play it. Can't wait to play it. And um, Prince of Persia, which I didn't have for the Super Nintendo. So yeah, so it's like an, another one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight games that I didn't have. I might have Aladdin boxed. Two, four, six, eight. Eight games that I did have. So 16 games. Super Nintendo. Um, came with two controllers. I think there was one like con competition pad. Or game commander pad. And the score master. And that was £10. Fucking hell. I could not believe it. Could not believe it. So the games worked out to be, I don't know, 40p each with the console and that. Like, yeah. So well happy. Um, I remember posting on GGG say I, they always I always see people on there like just posting their car boot finds and saying oh did I do well and I was took the piss like did I do well for turn powered and a few people on there were just like oh you're lying or there's a big pile of shit saying bullshit <laughs> all the memes and I, and I knew I was thinking I, I remember definitely recorded it and I need to double check and I did 
Um, so my heart was racing, thinking, "Oh, great, I put that on there," but I haven't got any proof because I didn't actually, I didn't actually check that I recorded it, but I knew I recorded it at the time because I looked at it. But yeah, did my video, put it up straight away. So yeah, so I'll probably do the little link below to actually see me. I think it's about what eight or nine minutes into it. Um, yeah, so happy, so happy to get that. Um, yeah, and after that final day, I wasn't really bothered about doing any car booting really. I was just walking around, just like milling around really. I was like fucking happy. Um, the lady I mentioned earlier, she did pick up um, some GameCube games. So I think about five minutes after this bundle, obviously I went back to the car, I came back, and a few of the, the guys that I know, who were collecting CDs, DVDs and stuff like that, they said, oh, there's a lady down there who's been asking for games. We don't know who she is. She's got like a whole stack of like GameCube games for 20 quid. And maybe a GameCube, so I was like, oh, I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> but you win and you lose. I won with this and lost out on that. So happy. Well happy. Um, yeah, and then that, that, that was play, sort of play of car boot done. Um, and then went up to Peacock Meadow. Um, everything looks completely mixed up. So I'm not quite sure what I got where or where I got what. Oh yeah. The steering wheel. That was in that bundle. It looks like a PlayStation 1 steering wheel. I don't give a damn about that. A dance mat. <laughs> get out of here. Get over there. Literally don't care about you. Literally don't care about you. So this bag looks like the extra bag. And yeah, I think that was it. That was it with that car boot. Um, Peacock Meadow, I don't, I'm trying to think, didn't even get anything from there. I must have done. I'm not 100% sure if I got anything from Peacock Meadow, so I'm going to just go straight on to Exeter. <laughs> um, yeah, Peacock Meadow was really hard. Um, it's one of those ones where they basically like, just go, go! You just run like a crazy man, you go down the wrong aisle, we go down this aisle. And yeah, it was just really hard to find anything down there. So, oh, I just can't remember what I've got. So let me do Liskar car boot. So there's a car boot locally at Liskar. This was on the Friday, so I'm sort of jumping ahead. Um, obviously, this was on Sunday, this pickup, and on Friday. Um, it starts around half three. I got there about quarter past four, because I thought, oh, I'll finish work. I go down there to see if it's actually one, if it's on. Because if it rains too much, they don't let you on the cricket pitch. And yeah, just just walked around, thinking, thinking oh, I'm not going to get anything. And in a, in a small little box was some um, plushes. <laughs> Got some Rax. Pikachu. Um, butterfly, Butterfree, and some random Digimon ones. So they had Digimon on them. Um, 2000. Yeah, never got into Digital Monsters. Do -do 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 -do. We are the champions. <laughs> that's all, literally, that's all I remember from Digimon. And this guy's got a zip on the back. What the hell? It turns into a pink guy. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> oh no, wrong universe. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> this guy looks garbage as well. So this looks like an official like Digimon toy for 2000. This is a Digimon. Looks like it's got a McDonald's on there. So whoever this guy, yeah, Charmander. <laughs> <laughs> and also just on the floor, I think it was 50p actually. And it was some Play Sega. So I guess these hook up to the PC. So not sure if the, the driver's are already in there, or I need a disc or whatever, but yeah, for 50p, they say Sega, and I thought, sod it, let me get them, let me get them. I've sort of done this, done this video in a bit of a different order, I did my best car boot first. <laughs> okay, so that was from Liskar car boot. Um, Chowder shop finds, quickly. Um, Oxfan, um, yeah, 199 for Resident Evil 4 on, on the Nintendo Wii, so well happy. Um, yeah. It's about the only Resident Evil game I don't have for the um, Wii. I also had some stuff um, which was just doing my head in, so I traded in some Skylanders that I still had spare. And I picked up Final Fantasy um, 4 on the DS. 
And I didn't have it, so I think it came out to be like £17.20 trade and it cost me 80p. So I looked at my cabinet thinking, oh, this is always the one I wanted. Um, it always used to be like 30, 40 quid, but yeah, to see that in the shop, about, probably about a year ago, it's 30, 40 quid. And I completely forgot about it, to be honest. And then when I was in the in the CX with Good Key, um, he said, oh, don't you need this in your cabinet? I'm like, okay, I'll just pick it up and trade some stuff in and got that. So yeah, I, mean, I was all in the wrong order. <laughs> so I did Plymouth Car Boot first, Plimpton, no, yeah, Peacock Meadow, which is in Plimpton. I can't remember what I actually got there, but it might have been rubbish. So this was from this guy car boot Friday night. Um, this was from yeah, a little charity shop trip. And yeah, the same sort of trip. So I went to yeah, charity shops, hunting, game hunting, and also to sort of sort out my iPad, uh, my iPhone, and some of that shit. So I went up to Exeter. Um, yeah, Exeter car boot. I thought, do I go back into... Um, I thought, I got this. This is really good. I'm really well happy. I thought, do I go back into Cornwall and have a go home? Or go to the car boots in there because I haven't been to any of the car boots in Cornwall lately. And as I was driving towards the Sotash Bridge by IKA or it's called Brunel, the, the guy who did the bridge. Um, the only sort of like gateway in the Cornwall anyway, or one or two gateways in the Cornwall. Um, I was driving towards the bridge, it was pissing down with rain. I thought, oh fuck, okay. Um, I quickly pulled over, um, messaged a few people, they said it's raining in Cornwall. So I thought, no, no, no. turned around and thought, okay, let's do Exeter. Let's try and get ahead of the rain. Um, did get ahead of the rain, um, yeah, got there an hour early like I normally do, and yeah, paid £7 to get in early, it's like five bucks a £7 to get in early, and this is the stuff that I picked up, I think, so this might be Peacock Meadow, yeah, this might be Peacock Meadow actually, <laughs> Jack, X, another Avatar and game, Legendary Mass of Elements. No, this might be extra, actually. This might be extra. Um, Impact. Um, the Battle for Wolf Ridge. Um, yeah, this is sort of like a little... Used to be a little popular video... A uh, popular board game back in the, the early noughties. Was it 2003, 2004? Let's have a look. 2002... 2003. So it's got two dates on it. So, yeah. It's got some nice figures as well, so I can I'll get rid of the figures or slowly have a mass collection of them and then slowly have a massive battle and then just get rid of it at the board game events that I go to. Um, yeah, Exeter was like really slow going, but yeah, I slowly got there. And this is what I got. I'm mainly picking up stuff for trade lately, so or stuff that I need better condition. So I was able to pick up Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PS1. Witches and Vampires, Ghost Pirates of Ashbur Ashbury. <sighs> I haven't got a clue what that game is and I'm not sure why I even got it. Oh, maybe I got it at the same time as one of these games. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog Chronicles. Or Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. And the Sonic Classic Collection, which I didn't have. I had this one. The best of Sonic Returns. So well happy to get this in the collection. So yeah, can't see one over there. Um, Grand Theft Auto own Liberty City Stories. Um, the amazing virtual sea monkeys. <laughs> Just says sea monkeys on the side. Um, that looks like a really funny game. And I, I love to buy and play shit games. <laughs> It's cool. The amazing sea monkeys. You ain't no South Park sea monkeys or the like Simpsons sea monkeys. <laughs> okay, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I used to like I liked the first series, but I never really got into it afterwards. So loads of my friends are massive Buffy fans. You watch it back now and it is it is not dating very well. Um Crash Bandicoot, Rougher Cortex. Um that's all I guess the platinum version of classics. That's cool. That is cool. Um, more little playing cards. Um, this is Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, the card game. 2004. Um, as you know, I like my board games are card games, so that will just be one of the shitty fucking card games that I'll slowly pick up over the years. Oh, there was also one more um, Super Nintendo game. I knew where this was. I thought I had one more. And it's Lethal Forces. <laughs> in the box there. Lethal Forces. 
Um, I'm fucking well happy to pick this game up because I picked up um, a couple of guns the other week in my last pickup. And yeah, I think you can actually use um, some of the, one of the, the at least the pink gun. You can connect it to um, the Super Nintendo gun because it's just like a little, um, I guess, uh, like an old aerial um, telephone cable. Um, yeah, so I've got Lethal and Forces as well. So I've got 17 games. Wow, I forgot. I was thinking that. I was thinking, where's my other game? I find a better game than this. Um, <laughs> um, Xbox game. Hello Kitty, Roller Rescue. So I don't know who Rolo is. Um, I guess it's Roller Skates, maybe? Rolo to the rescue? I thought it was a rat. I thought Rolo the rat. Free gift inside. Oh, no gift. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, next one is Pokemon 3, the movie. Um, I picked up Pokemon 1, the movie, the other day on cassette. So I just did to go to that. Um, one of the guys at the um, car boot got this for 20p and he, yeah, he, if you see in my video, he donated it to me. So cheers, guys. Um, he, he's off the games and stuff like that as well. More newer games, really, but he still picks up the old games. But there always seem to be enough of us, enough sort of like to go around. So last, I think the week before I told you that he um, picked up some Wii games and also some GameCube games. But yeah, there's always seemed to be enough to go around and he just donated this to me. He said he got it for 20p, Nintendo DS cover. So thanks, mate. So if you're watching, cheers. Yeah, there's always just there's always enough to go around. Always fine. Okay, I picked up some more games. I think this was five pound this lot. So I got Quantum of Solace, for the PS2. Um, I love the PS3 version. Absolutely loved it. It was so good. Um, episode one. No, episode three. Sorry, Revenge of the Sith. Lego Star Wars 2, yeah this is £5, silver controller, silver eye toy, and SingStars, yeah the SingStar microphones, another annoying box. So to me minimum, yeah, I, I obviously sometimes I like um, I spend like a fiver on it, it's probably worth £5 trade in, so I normally take it to the shops to trade in, or I'll swap it out with condition in my ones, or just obviously complete consoles. That's just what I normally do, like with some stuff like that. And I just know I can just trade them in, get my money back, but I just give, I'll trade in my sort of like my worst condition ones instead. I find the PS2s are getting like less and less to find at the moment, but any of them that are like £5 or less, or six, seven quid, I think this one was six quid in the end. Um, I just, yeah, I just pick up. So this, this is a Slimline PS2. And they're selling quite well on Amazon at the moment. And um, obviously good trading with CEX. So it came with a controller. No cables, that, no um, RF cables or the video cables. But I've got tons of them. You slowly pick up loads. Um, came with a memory card as well. So I think I sold a PlayStation 2 the other day. It was on Amazon. It was 40 quid, so... I needed some money. I thought I got a few. I got about ten PS2s in a box at the moment. So I thought I just put one on there. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, sold forty quid. And then I sent it. And then three days later, I had a message from a guy saying, "Oh, I, I it was the order was yeah the order was a mistake to order the PlayStation 2." I'm like, mate, you ordered it at like one o'clock. I sent it off at like four o'clock. And then three days later, now you're messaging me. I confirmed dispatch. Now you're messaging me saying. You know, you didn't you didn't mean to order it. I can understand it was like two or three hours or even that day, but not three days later. So I'm not sure what's happening. So it's, it's been delivered to him. So I guess he's just sucked it up and he's actually got a PS2 now. Um, picked up some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, like I said, more little card games. Any, basically any Pokemon games, Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Magic cards. So if you guys do see my card boots, they're definitely worth picking up. Um, you can always take them into um, the little board game shops or the collectible shops and they'll, they'll give you... Good money for them, but I know I know a few friends. They still play Yu-Gi-Oh, still collect the old Pokemon cards, and yeah, always good that way. Um, what else was there? Um, oh yeah, I went into a random shop, um, and I picked up this for two quid. <laughs> Skate or die, seven twenty. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, well, box box Game Boy game, two quid. You can't go wrong. I was like, oh, three quid. Got my three quid out, and she just said, oh, you can just have it for two quid. I'm like, cool. Cheers. It looks garbage, but just be a bit of fun. Just be a bit of fun. And 
yeah, obviously I went to Exeter and what I like to do is always buy like something or an item, just like a PlayStation. I might have got the PlayStation at, Pe at um, Peacock Meadow actually. I think that's where I might have got that from. I don't remember picking up from Exeter or did I? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, something like that you can just pick up like quite cheap and normally pays for my fuel to get there. So, but um, but I didn't have that at the time. I didn't I didn't think I had anything actually. So this woman, I saw she had a like a bag of PS2 um, games in the back of my car, and I got this lot for twelve quid. Um, yeah, I've got a pretty big two big PS2 collection. Once again, you just if you if you see a big bundle, I try and get the bundles like as a good price as possible. I was happy to pay, probably happy to pay twenty quid for this lot, but I offered a tenner. She said twelve. Oh, or I said, or oh, she said fifteen. Or so yeah, basically paid twelve quid for it. Um, there's some good games in here. There's some trash games in here, but it's just good to swap out the discs, um, the inlays, and stuff like that. And I know I could take them to game shops and give get minimum fifty p each. You know, so there's quite a few here. So this is what I got for twelve quid, and I think there might be fifty. Just try and remember. Okay, Gun Griffin Blaze. I think that's what it says. NHL 2004. Siphon Filter Omega Strain. These are the games I think I actually need. I think that's why they're there. Ace Combat Distant Thunder. Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. I never got into Siphon Filter games, but they're fucking, there's loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. So Com, some Com, or So Com. USA Navy Seals, is it, or something? Yeah. Viet Cong, Purple Haze. Naval Ops Warship Gunner. Okay, now this looks really complicated. But yeah, it looks like a... Yeah, I don't have this at all. So that's that's in my I need pile. Chelsea FC. <laughs> we hate you, Chelsea. So these are always like, this is football, club football. Around 2003, 2005, there used to be loads of them. They even did a Villa one, which is really weird. I keep on seeing the Leeds one as well. That's when Leeds were good. So they're the games I actually needed. So, need room. Not much room at all. These games are dope, but I'll obviously swap out the discs. Um, and they're just good trade fodder. So, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In my opinion, the best Grand Theft Auto. So, yeah. Brilliant. The music was brilliant. Um, that time, man, was it 2003? 2002-2003. That time in my life, I feel, I feel was the best time, you know. 2001 to 2004. It was just brilliant. Shell Shock, Nam. Never played it. Um, Medal of Honor Frontline. Awesome game. Absolutely awesome. Um, I remember putting on, I think it was like the hardest set in, I literally couldn't get off the beach, I think, oh, this is this is probably what they went through, the veterans, you know, you pop your head off, psh, the, the goddamn German sniper you can't even see, ever, will just like take your head off. But yeah, brilliant game, so it's definitely worth playing again. Um, I think I remember actually buying, was it Medal of Honor something? Um, yeah, Medal of Honor on the PS3, and they had this game in there as well, like a free download, and yeah, brilliant. Men of Honor Rising Sun. Kamagazi! When they literally just come out of the bushes. <laughs> brilliant game, brilliant game. Men of Honor um, European Assault. Um, I don't remember playing this one because this was a later version. Yeah, 2005. So I think I'm definitely going to give that give that another go. Brothers in Arms, Road to Highway, or Hill, Hill Road, yeah, Road to. No. Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 13. I'm sure there was a Road to Hell. So this one was later, I think. So, oh, this is 2005 as well. Conflict Dev De Desert Storm. Imagine that was a PC convert. Okay, the usual trash. FIFA 08. Secret Weapons over Normandy. Convict. Or conflict, Vietnam. So just like the other one, Desert Storm 2. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, awesome. <laughs> oh, I love Tony Hawk, so good. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, I was all Grand Theft Auto out by the... Yeah, this is 2006. I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto by then. 
And when that one came out, I played it a bit and got a bit bored. But then a few years later, I did complete it. But yeah, it was all, I was all Grand Theft Auto out by then. And I think that's like 2006, it says, yeah. 2006. So I think I remember getting my PS3 then and actually going on to the PS3. Okay, the eye toy. Did you eye toy have in here? Um, Ghost Hunter? Loving the front cover. The cover's really cool. Killzone, oh, another amazing game. I love Killzone 2, but this was brilliant as well. So yeah, so that's definitely going to go in my to play pile. I think I've already got it, but it's good. You pick them up thinking, oh, I remember that game. Rugby Challenge 2006? Oh, can't stand rugby. What were we doing in 2006? Our oh, World Cup in Germany. I Toy Play 2. The Sum of All Fears? I remember the film. But, yeah, I don't remember the game. Full Spectrum Warrior. Oh, I used to always see that on the bloody Xbox every time. Conflict Desert Storm. <laughs> For distribution outside the UK only. Okay. But it doesn't say anything else. Yeah, distribution outside the UK only. But won't it just be like the French one? I don't know about that one. That's really weird. Um, World Championship Snooker 2005. I used to love snooker. Now it is bloody boring. So Ronnie Sovlin, he was really good back then. He's still good. Marco Fu, I didn't realise how old it is. Paul Hunter, I think you're dead. Um, Stephen... Oh, Stephen Hendry. Steve Davis. Yeah, most of them I don't even know anymore when I watch snooker. Um, I don't know what a bottle was in there. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Let's put that there. Um, Sonic Heroes. Another conflict game. Conflict by Global Storm. And you guys are busy, weren't you, conflict people? Um, Splinter Cell. Wild, wild racing. <laughs> that looks so bad. Ace Combat. Most of these cases do need to go clean. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. SOCOM USA Navy SEALs. Awesome game. Call of Duty Big Red One. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I remember we used to host a gaming night um, where I live, and yeah, I had about 10 copies of these. We set like 10 PlayStations up. That's probably why the 10 are actually in that box, actually. Um, and we used to just run around and then who I've got the tank first. Yeah, link up with that. Who I've got the tank first, which is just destroy us. World War Zero. Never played this game, but yeah. A lot of army games back then. Spartan, Total Warrior. Oh, that is Total War. So is it like the same? Okay, I need to play that. Brian Lara, Cricket. Legend. Freedom Fighters. Get your eye toys out of here. Oh. Okay, there's Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. And inside it is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> okay, Medal of Honor Vanguard. This is another one never played. But this one must be a late one, surely. 2007. Pikes of the Caribbean. Yeah, that's enough said of that. Brothers in Arms. Earned in Blood. I'm sure it's like Highway to Hell. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six,
So I've got 49 games there. Um, we're happy, and that was 12 quid. So, does that work out 50p each? Probably less than 50p each. So, so obviously some games I need, which is these ones. So that makes two lots of 20, yeah, so like 40 games. So I've got basically 40 games for 12 quid. Uh, maybe swap some of the discs out and inlays and all that jazz. But yeah, they're easy to swap based on one pound each, isn't it? One, two. Even like 50p each should be like, I went to training, so they, the, all that lot there would be the 12 quid that I paid for. And the rest, you may get a pound for some, may get 40p for some, may get a pound for some. It's always hit and miss when you go into shops sometimes when they just scan them in. Oh, also in there was um, London Racer 2. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. <laughs> yeah, well happy. Um, I couldn't believe that Super Nintendo bundle. But yeah, highlights of that was Prince of Persia, Wolfenstein, definitely Lethal Enforcers. I was like, wondering where he was. And Another World. Ooh. Yeah. So I'd happily pay £10 just for those four. But yeah, at um, least the Super Nintendo can do a bit of DIY, so I've always wanted to open one up. Um, never done it before. So yeah, open up, see if I can fix it. We even send it off to someone to respray, you never know, you know? So, well happy. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking and sharing. Please check out my video. Uh, this is sort of like a really rough video because I need to go out and actually need to go pick up a car. So I made an offer on a car. Um, <laughs> I'll wait for a few friends to get back to me because I need to obviously go. I can't just go there myself. I might, I might have to go on the train get off and see if this car's any good and then if it's good I'll drive it back if it's not I'll get back on the train but yeah but thank you guys thanks please like share comment and um yeah cheers guys